I think of Med Week and whenever I think of this event, it feels like coming home. It feels like being with family. How do conferences like Med Week impact small business growth in the future? Well, they do it in a lot of ways because they provide valuable information to these small businesses, valuable intelligence that they can take back and use in their businesses to be successful. You know, oftentimes they say it's not the know-how, it's the know-who. They get that too here by meeting key people in government and business that can help their businesses grow. So these conferences play a vital role in helping to continue to empower the fastest growing segment of small business, which are the emerging minority businesses. The theme this year for Med Week is the art of the deal. Can you define for us what that may mean for you this time? Well, the art of the deal is many things. For, for SBA, our art of the deal is to be a very strong partner to 25 million small businesses, to be a passionate advocate to those small businesses, and to make sure that we're the agency of government that truly responds to their needs. That's how we define the art of the deal, and I'm happy to report to you that we're doing more of that now than at any time in SBA's history. Administrator Beretta, thank you very much, and we look forward to seeing you again. Absolutely. Thank, thank you. you. you thank did. you. And here with me, I have two of the winners this year at Med Week. We have Derek Martin and Anthony Martin. And can you tell us what your award was that you won this year in Med Week? We won it for a Minority Retailer of the Year. And can you explain to us what Minority Retailer of the Year means and your success and how you got there? We'll let you do that one. Oh, you put okay, me on the spot. Wait, wait. <laughs> Well, we, we're on a grocery store that we've been around for uh, basically 40 years uh, in, the, in the Wisconsin area. So throughout that, I guess we have made people notice our retailing. Yeah, Wisconsin. I, okay, okay, go ahead. Well, it's grocery. It's a grocery store. I've been around for 40 years. Me and my two brothers took it over um, um, 10 years ago from my dad. My dad started back in 65, uh, so we started that then. What uh, piece of advice would you like to impart upon people who are looking at this show and want to get to the level that you guys are on? Who would like to take that one? Well, I'll take that okay. one. Well, I'll say first, you've got to be ready for uh, hard work. It's a commitment, and it's something that's going to be done on a consistent level, not something that is uh, you can just take and fly by night. You've got to be ready and prepared to work day and night to succeed in any type of business that you, you want to work or choose, desire to get into. Any last thoughts? Mm, uh, well, just like I said, work hard, be ready to work hard. It takes a lot of work, with regardless to whatever business you do, retail, uh, construction work. It requires a lot of work and determination. So, and as a family, we, we're together in doing that. Gentlemen, thank you. Congratulations again on your award, and we look forward to seeing you around again doing something. All right, thank okay. you. Okay, I have another one of the award winners from Med Week this week. Her name is Elizabeth Gonzalez Gan, and she is the national. I'll let you tell us what you're telling your award was this year. I'm the National Minority Female Entrepreneur of the Year. Okay, and tell us a little bit about your business and how you you arrived at the award tonight. Well, I started, uh, I have a janitorial company and I started my company in 1987 at a time when it was not really uh, uh, popular for women to start their own businesses and especially a janitorial company. Was your background in janitorial initially? Absolutely not. Uh, I started, actually I used to be a clinic administrator and what happened is that I found that the cleaning company that was cleaning my office was not doing a good job. So at that time I decided, uh, oh, I found myself cleaning up after them and pretty soon I thought, okay, I'm paying them and I'm doing the work. So I started doing the work and the doctors really liked what I was doing and so they started recommending me and that's how I started. What part of it, what piece of advice could you impart on our audience, people who are looking at this today and want to follow in your footsteps, particularly in the janitorial industry as a woman? Well, as a woman, I found um, breaking into the industry was very difficult, but some of the things that I feel uh, lead to success, no matter what it is that you undertake, and that is you need to have faith, you need to have uh, uh, determination, d uh, tenacity, and you need to work very hard at it and definitely a positive attitude. Congratulations to Elizabeth. I'm telling you, you're my new inspiration for this conference, so I thank you very much. Great. Tell me a little bit about your company. We're in the import-export business. It's 19... Wow. A long time ago, <laughs> 87. Mm -hmm. And we just got the award for Export of the Year Award because of our work in the Caribbean. What type of exporting do you... What's your company specialize in? We specialize actually in anything that teases your palate. We go the whole nine yards from honeys to spices 
to seasonings and beautiful crunchy snacks like plantain chips from Colombia. Mm -hmm. Exporting and importing is a very hard industry to break into. We just talked with somebody from the World Trade Center Institute. How has that been for you? Is it, has it been a difficult industry to navigate or do you navigate it with much ease? Actually it has many challenges. If you may say that uh, just to research your products, you have to have an R&D department. We have actually figured, we spent about in the six figures just in R&D, finding out the right mix of products for the right kind of people. And R&D is research and development, okay. That's correct. So to answer the question, you have to invest in the resources to ferret out the winners. So after a few years, you fine tune those criteria. As okay. The quality, flavor, and taste. If there were one piece of advice that you could leave with somebody who'd be interested in and maybe following in your footsteps a little bit in terms of importing and exporting, what would that be? Uh, keep a keen eye, work hard, and form relationships. Uh, not only meet customers' expectations, but to exceed them every time. And if people would like to get in touch with you or find out more information, have questions for you that would like to ask, just ask in general, is there a way they can do that? Our email address is for, for me persons, A L U E at bellsouth.net. Thank you, Aston Liu. I'm second generation construction company. My father started the firm in Cuba, but uh, he, you know, we had Fidel uh, take over the island and his properties. He was the largest contractor on the island. And I came here and I worked with him for many years, but between father and son, sometimes always a lot of love but sometimes we didn't meet eye to eye and he had some ideas about doing it the old way and I felt uh, more in doing it in the new way and and uh, he stayed my mentor but we start, I started the firm in 1983. And you're of a Cuban American descent so I think that's really this is a really unique photo if you'd like to you know kind of point that out we have uh, someone who is uh, we talked to Ashton Liu, who is of Chinese descent, and then we're talking to Jorge, who is of Cuban American descent. And of course, you know, I represent the African American community. That so, was part. yes, we are. Thank you. You're so sweet. Let me ask you one other thing. What do conferences like MedWeek benefit? Do you think there's a benefit in coming to conferences like this? I think you learn uh, other people, how they, uh, their struggles. You're able to share some ideas. You're able to get some uh, ideas from them on how to grow your business and how to develop relationship. It's a great networking opportunity. And I think you get a lot of good benefits from these events. Jorge, thank you. Thank you.